hey there! Looks like it's time for another episode of Campus Consensus. I'm your host, Haley Zymek. Today we're going around asking people questions like, what's the weirdest thing a guest has done at your home? What would be the worst buy one, get one free sale? Would you rather know when you're gonna die or how you're gonna die? And do people still keep up with award shows? And do award shows actually award the best? Stay tuned, I'm here with... Assad. Carson Burke. Rahul Surakanda. Uh, my name is Ola. Eric. What is the weirdest thing a guest has done at your home? Um, so one time in high school, I was having one of my friends over and he just had a haircut and he actually just went into the bathroom with a bottle of shampoo and just washed his hair, but in my sink. In your sink. And so it was just all full of his like, all freshly of just, like, yeah, cut just hair. freshly cut hair. And it took me like a week to get all the hair out. Don't they wash your hair at the barber no, see, but like, area they cut it? Sometimes they will, but a lot of guys will just go to like Great Clips or somewhere and just like they get, don't. The free, get the free hair, like get the cheap haircut and like get out of there, you know what I mean? Interesting. Don't you have a shower that he could have used? I had a shower they could have <laughs> used, but he was just like, no, I didn't feel like showering. Interesting. So he just stuck his head in my sink. Okay, so one time there was this guy who knocked on my door and uh, he wanted Coke. Oh. He was really thirsty. But that wasn't your guest. Um, it wasn't, but he came along with the guests that I invited. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, he wanted Coca-Cola. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, we invited him in and, uh, just told him to sit down and, um, he got up and he went inside my fridge and he grabbed, uh, some bread and, um, took some meat out of the freezer and just grabbed some vegetables, started chopping them up. He just grabs them without asking? Yeah, Making yeah. a whole meal? Yeah, making a meal for himself. I'm like, D did I ask you that you could, you know, just go to my fridge and just start making food? You know, I, I told you to sit down. Maybe like two years ago, I had a uh, guest come over to my house and he was arguing with me about uh, whether evolution was real or not. Okay. And we actually had a four hour discussion. Four hours. Four hours. And um, at one point, he didn't believe that uh, like dreams were made from our brains. He thought okay. it came from our soul. He was just a weird dude, yeah. I'd say the weirdest thing was when one of my friends came over, he uh, simply had to use the restroom, but the weird thing was that his house was only a block away, so it was, it was just weird he that he came home. straight to my place oh. to use the restroom and then went straight home. So He didn't even stay. Oh, well, yeah, no, he didn't stay. He said hi and stuff, but like it was really quick. Let's see, weirdest thing a guest done at my home. Well, I have a very good friend back home um, who whenever he would come over to my house, he would bring this spicy ramen and he was Ooh. always insisting that we stir fry up this ramen and we did it one day and it was really good. But to this day, I have one packet of that ramen that I haven't finished up and I need to, I need to get him over here at some point. So what would be the worst buy one, get one free sale? Uh, well... Worst buy one get one free. If well, if so, for some reason a store was selling individual socks, uh, if hmm. you, the best buy one get one free would be for individual socks. But the worst buy two get one free would probably be uh, buy two individual socks get a free so single sock. Probably say like a uh, maybe like a toaster. I don't know. I like that's the best thing that comes off the top who of my head. Who needs two toasters, right? Yeah. Who needs but two toasters? You only need the one. That's, that's fair. Um, so actually this happened to me a week ago. I was at 99 Ranch Mart uh, up in Frisco. Okay. And I have a friend who works there and he was having a buy one, get one sale uh, on cream puffs. So that sounds pretty the good. The deal was you buy a cream puff at twice the value and he'll give you one free at the normal value. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, You're not getting ended, any it, free. It ended up being a buy two, get one, but uh, that was just kind of his little... Or buy uh, two, get zero. Uh, well... They're each two dollars, so if I buy one at four and I get one at two, it's like buying two and then getting one free. Interesting. Sinks. Sinks. Because you'd have to you'd have to get the plumbing installed for both of them, right? And there's only so many places you can put one in a house. Well, what if they like connect it at the bottom? So you have like That's two sinks point. side by side, then it's like a giant sink. Yeah, maybe we need to have that now, a mm. giant sink. Buy one, but get then one. wait, that that limits like your counter space then. That is true. Yeah. Would you rather have more counter, more sink? Interesting. I'd say, I'd say more counter because then it forces you to wash your dishes in a timely <laughs> manner, right? So So they don't pile up. Exactly. I, I've been yeah. there for sure. Probably like pets. Because like, you know. Pets? That would be the best. Then you get a two for one. See, but if you're not ready for a multiple. Actually, I'm going to change my answer. I want to do a child. <laughs> adopt, a, adopt a child. Okay. Like you okay. adopted one child and now we're just going to ship you so off with a second where, where child. Where do twins come in then? 
If Isn't you're going, that essentially a buy one get one? If you're going for twins, then you can go for twins and specifically go for twins and try to get two of them together. But if you're just only aiming for one child and you end up going home with two, I feel like that's a much larger commitment than you were going for okay. in the first place. So this is adopting kids, not actually giving birth. I hope birth. you are not purchasing a child and or, I mean, I don't know how you would buy one, get one free with like give birth. Does it count as that a purchase? That is a good question. Does it, is a birth technically a purchase? Because you're paying <laughs> oh. the hospital? Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? Um, oh, that's an interesting question. Um, I guess how I would die. I think that's a lot more interesting. I'd say how I'm going to die. How and why is that? Because um, I don't really, like, I wouldn't want to know either of them. But if I have to choose one, I don't want to know when I'm going to die. Because, like, leading up to that date, it would just be a lot of existential paranoia, mm -hmm. you know? It would just be very uncomfortable. A lot of anxiety. Honestly, I'd rather know, e like, I'd rather not know either. Okay. But if I had to choose, it'd probably be how I die. I don't know, like, I just, like, like, I, don't like I don't like watching movies with spoilers. I want to be surprised, you know what I mean? Interesting. Okay, he and, wants like, also, to be like, surprised how he dies. Yeah, and also, like, I just feel like either way, you'd be filled with just, like, a, a huge sense of, like, existential dread at all sure. times, you know what I mean? Definitely when. When? When. Why is that? Because if I knew how I was going to die, I'd be super paranoid about the way I die. Mm -hmm. So, say, for example, like, say I knew how I was going to die and I was going to die by a train, then I'd be deathly afraid of trains for the rest of my life, but I know that had, that would be how i die anyways. Mm -hmm. And that would probably just consume me. Well, uh, I wouldn't want to tempt fate, so uh, I would probably know when and uh, just plan my life around that and try to optimize everything. Live your life to the fullest? Yeah. Do you watch the Emmys or award shows? I don't really follow award no. shows. Do you think but. that award shows generally award the best show? Um, I don't really think so. I think a lot of the times, I know it's especially egregious with the Oscars. I don't know much yeah. about the Emmys and I don't really watch a lot of American TV, but um, there's always campaigns for these big productions uh, where they're trying to get the industry or the academy or whatever it may be on their side so that they can uh, acquire the most awards because then that can be used as a marketing push for the product so sure, go it's see it, it all kind of yeah it all kind of falls into uh falls into the industry so i don't necessarily trust the opinion of awards okay. shows except for the razzies you know those are pretty cool well i think uh it's some combination i think uh they like to abuse popular opinion to uh Make it feel like the audience. Make it seem as if the audience uh, could have actually guessed what uh, won. Mm -hmm. But there's a give and take. I, I think there's a level of um, fairness or decency at play where uh, they're actually choosing good actors and good performances over uh, uh, good movies in general or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, I mean, there is always like a political aspect of everything, um, especially with award shows. Uh, I wouldn't say everything is just based off the merit of the show, mm -hmm. but there is a large majority of shows that do get it off their uh, credibility. Yeah, I don't think it's based off of the actual quality, and it's just more like a popularity contest. I think just because those award shows are usually towards the arts, you know, the, the Grammys, Emmys, Oscars, things like that, and those things are just so inherently subjective, there's not really mm -hmm. one clear-cut answer. Today we learned that you shouldn't do things at someone's house that you can do at home. Um, toasters, socks, kids, and sinks are all pretty weird buy one get one free sale items. People have an even split on if they'd rather know when they're going to die or how they're going to die. And finally, nobody really watches award shows anymore. They might keep up with them on social media, uh, but they also think that award pickers aren't super trustworthy in picking the actual best for the shows. Until next time, 